I don't know, but you, 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 you got out the car and you said, Harry, why don't you tell him how you're scamming everybody? <laughs> he, di he did say that. So that's all of a sudden a joke that came out of nowhere? Really? You expect me to believe that? What? Let me ask him. You're the one that sent it. There was a way to beat what system? Oh my God, is it the same shit, Speedy? Oh God. Oh God. So you guys were talking about how to scam the crew. Like, is this is is this literally what I'm hearing right now? I, I don't understand what I'm hearing. I don't know what he's talking about. Got any guesses? So so you so you and Harry spoke about actively how to scam the crew. Listen, this guy is this guy. This oh, I can't believe it. Listen, my you might as well just hang. Was, listen, was you this might, a you hypothetical might, conversation? You might, you might as well you might as well hang up on mine. This guy's been chatting nonsense for the last. He doesn't even know the system. You might like. How could I be scamming the the crew about? I'm literally exposing a on, on his on what he's been doing. And plus, I do the system to a fault. I, my record keeping is immaculate. I have it all written uh -huh. down. Did you yeah, put it in why, the why, why, why is Martin saying this then, Harry? Like, I, I'm just very confused as to what the fuck is going on right now. Because I... How come... How come well, I'm going to call you back. Because... How come because, every time no, things because, are going good, we decide to shoot ourselves in the foot? Because I went to him, I saw him, and I was like, you know... You know, I... Listen, you know, me and Martin are doing a lot of work together. We talk about stuff. You know, he always seems kind of like uh, he knows what the fuck is up. He seems kind of smart. So I've been thinking all day about, you know, people, because after I found out what Arush has been doing, I was like, listen, I think there's a bit of a, a flaw in our system is that people can people can choose to keep whatever work they're doing on the side a secret. And I shared this info with him, and all of a sudden he starts, like, telling me that he doesn't know about our fucking system and it's fucking stupid and, it, and it, he doesn't get it, and the money. Well, why, why are you, as a Don, going to going to Martin and talk about this? Like that, that 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 part I can't understand. I mean, yeah, fair point. Sure. I was just looking for opinions for people in the crew. You know, I just someone I just ran up on him. But yeah, that's that's a fair point. But opi but opinion opinions on what? How how you can go about scamming the crew? Like I I don't understand opinions on what. On, you know, initially I was asking him, like, you know, how to combat it. And it turns out he didn't even know, he doesn't even follow the system, he doesn't even know what it is. But why would you ask him how to combat it? Because I think it's an issue. Right. So you asked him how to combat it because you think it's an issue, not something you were looking mm -hmm. to do yourself. I mean... Mm -hmm. I have, like, I literally gave, you know, Gigi my numbers. I do the fucking system. Yeah, but I'm, that's not what I'm asking. You, you genuinely asked him how to combat it uh, because you thought it was an issue and it's not something you wanted to do yourself? Is that what you're saying? I mean, if I was going to do it myself, I don't think I would have been exposing Arush for what he was doing. I would have just kept it to myself and done the same shit, No. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that told uh, Roosh told about this. But, so, but see, that's the thing. You told nobody else though until right now. Yeah, because that because it doesn't sit right with me. You knew this all day. We were together like yeah, pretty I much told all you, day. No, no, we haven't mm -hmm. been together at all all day. First of all, we didn't even have a Don meeting, and secondly, I haven't been with you once today. This is the first time I've seen you all day. We were at we were at Cyprus earlier, gathering in a circle, speaking to Gigi uh, about a bunch of shit. How is this not brought up then? This is what I don't understand. We didn't. I just dipped because I had shit to do. For me, it's hard to understand why, when things are going good, we decide to shoot ourselves in the foot. Like, why why are we having talks about how to cheat the fucking system? A rule shit aside, that's a whole different problem, and he's gonna get fined for it. I'm gonna put it up to a fucking vote. But then why? Why are we taking it one step further and, and talking to the people that we bought in on how to cheat the fucking system when the entire system only works no. if we have trust? I was never telling him how to cheat the system. He was basically telling me, like you know, he doesn't know what the system is and he hasn't been doing it, 
and that you know I, I don't need a lecture on how to cheat the system when i follow the system like i keep track every t every time i go do sketchy shit i have it all ran down i give i give there's two weeks the second week we've been doing this i, I give the numbers to uh to gg well okay You've mentioned this plenty of times, and yes, I understand what you were saying. I, I never said once you're, you're not tracking it. What I can't wrap my head around is why you're going to Martin to talk about how to cheat the system when the only way this system can work is if it's based on trust. Anybody can cheat the system. That's not the point. The point is nobody's going to fucking do it or even wonder how they can do it because we all have trust in each other. Sure. Uh, you know, that, that that's good. But if anything, I'm glad I uh, brought it up because this Martin had no idea about the system and wasn't doing it. It's like maybe 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 talking about it wasn't the worst thing, to be honest, because the guy didn't even know the fucking thing existed. You know, listen, the, the reason Martin I, knows it exists, he's either lying about it or he's stupid. Everyone gets on board it like. When they're brought in, they pay their dues. They get a quick rundown on everything, from what I know. It's not even a quick rundown. It's a very elaborate rundown well, on everything. Yeah. I don't understand, right? It's Friday. It was a good week. It was a good day. We buy a second house. Things are looking up. Luciano, whoever else, getting to the fucking moonshine shit. People are enjoying what the fuck they're doing. Money's coming in. Everybody got kickbacks. People made money today. How come all of a sudden I'm, I wake up now, it's a Arusha's doing this. We're talking about how, how, how to scam the fucking crew or whatever. Like, wh why, why are we, like, shooting ourselves in the foot? I was just thinking out loud. Because I, you know... I mean, this has always been my, my concern. that A shit ton of people have keys to the house. And I don't think people are very good at tracking shit. I mean... The thing is, I'm just a paranoid person, man. I was just, I, I got closer to mine, you know, because we, we do a lot of shit together. And I was just thinking, of, thinking of out loud, like, I was just, I just brought it up in conversation. I'm gonna be honest, people are tracking shit. I go to that computer, but, 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 and, but the thing and is, what I need is the thing, there. I mean, I was the questioning is, Arusha's really, weed really numbers. Matters, you know, I just, though. I just get paranoid. Like, like I was yeah, doing it, the all, it all comes down to trust. Like. The, this is what I understand. If you don't trust the people you are working with, why are you here? That's what you got to ask yourself. Straight up. If you're going if you're, if to be paranoid with the people you work with every fucking day who all agreed to buy in, like, why are we working together? Like, that's what you have to ask yourself. Otherwise, this is never going to work. This entire system is built on trust. If you're allowing, allowing yourself to get paranoid over the people you fucking work with, this is never going to work. Sure. I mean, so is my paranoid paranoia, like, like slightly valid? If you've got Arush buying off uh, fucking washers yeah, in his apartment. But then, that, uh, that's different because that, that's no longer paranoia. That, that, that is factual, confirmed information that you got that should have been brought up almost immediately. It's not paranoia at that point. That is something that is actually happening. Well, I mean, you know, the, the info's there now, so. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow's going to be a hell of a fucking day. But the, the, I, I just want to emphasize that there's like a difference where if you hear Lang, you know, is stealing thousands of dollars, then you have actual information versus you pondering at night if Lang is stealing thousands of dollars or not. We should only act on what we have factual information. We should never act based on paranoia when it comes to the crew. And, and I'm one of the most paranoid fucking people on the planet. But I got trust in everybody that's bought in. Like we're, we're Don's, Harry. Like we, we have to lead by fucking example. Or this is never going to work. Like if you're sitting there, I, I get it. You're fucking paranoid. I can understand it. But then if you're sitting there and then you're bringing the paranoia onto one of our newly bought in guys, then he's going to get fucking paranoid. And then it becomes a shit show. Like it's the same. It's, a, it's the thing that I asked Tony, and he took it so offensively, is when I told Tony, "You need to go look in the fucking mirror and see yourself as a Don, because he looks at him and Octo as fucking equals, and that is not gonna work. Look in the fucking mirror, 
see yourself as a Don and understand the responsibilities and expectations you have to lead this crew. And that goes for everybody. It goes for me, it goes for you, it goes for a fucking Arush. Everything is, uh, and the craziest part is, nothing bad even happened. This, everything's going well, and for some reason we'll have a conversation about this. Got a second house. The, the, the grow up is going fucking crazy. We own Cyprus now. Like, everything's going fucking well. Like, wh why are we putting a fucking a stick in the wheel of our fucking bike? At the end of the day, we're up so good. Honestly, so good. Yeah, I mean... I'm absolutely shocked that Arusha's doing this. I, I, I almost hope that he was just high and trolling. 